Hi, my name is Stephen Paul Judd. I am Kiowa and Choctaw from the Southern Plains of Oklahoma, and I'm an artist. When I started thinking about the piece I wanted to do of Jim Thorpe, I started really thinking back about when was the first time I had heard of him. And I really couldn't remember a time in my memory when I didn't know who Jim Thorpe was. I'm from Oklahoma. Jim was from Oklahoma. He was a native. I was a native. And for a small time, he went to a school called Haskell, which I also went to school for. I always thought of him as a superhero. I knew about his exploits because if you're a native person, usually other natives will tell you about it. But what I quickly found out was people that were non-natives really didn't know much about Jim Thorpe. When I was in college, I had a friend who was a defensive back for the University of Oklahoma. And I was talking about Jim Thorpe being a native and he had no idea. He knew about the Jim Thorpe Award, which was awarded to the best defensive back, but he didn't know that he was native. I've made many different things using Jim Thorpe. I made my own custom Legos, stickers. So when I started thinking about what I wanted to do for this piece, the image that came to mind to me was this wall. And on this wall, I imagined people cutting out every newspaper article, every magazine article, and they're just wheat pasting it on this wall as a tribute to him in this wall. And then eventually at the end, an artist comes by and they just paint a picture on top of this wall. So as I was doing it, I got online, I got on eBay and I got on Etsy and I just began to Google search. Jim Thorpe newspapers, Jim Thorpe magazines. I was able to find an original 1922 newspaper article that talked about Jim Thorpe becoming the first NFL president. Then I was able to find an original 1950s article that talked about Jim Thorpe being the best athlete in the first half of the century. I found magazines like Esquire. I even found a comic book that was written all in Spanish about Jim Thorpe. So I would cut each piece out and what I would imagine as I was putting it on the canvas where would I put this if this was the only piece I had to put on this wall? Every piece I treated like that, like where would this piece go if this is the only piece I could put up in tribute of Jim Thorpe? Once I had all the pieces up, then I decided I wanted to do the piece and I wanted to do a multi-layered stencil, but because I like pop art, I wanted to use bright colors. So even though I used black, I wanted this pink color to use to shine through. So right now we have the ability to tell our own stories, the financial means to tell those stories. And one of the ways that a lot of the tribes have this new financial independence was because of gaming. Um, I can speak directly to my tribe. Gaming has had a big influence on our tribe as far as us being um, financially solvent and able to build our own hospitals, supply jobs, educations, housing loans. And personally myself, all through college, I worked at a bingo hall. So in order to help represent that, if you look at the painting closely behind those magazine articles, newspapers and photos, you'll see snippets of bingo dauber sheets that are behind it to help represent that portion of our history. I also wanted to do a second piece. And in that piece, I was thinking about movement and how fast Jim was and how agile he was. And so I wanted the painting to be like, have you ever taken a picture of someone and they're moving really fast so it blurs? That's what I wanted the picture to look like. I wanted the colors just to be moving and vibrant and flowing. So I did the painting in a very loose fashion to make it look like it was kind of moving a little bit. So I feel like Jim Thorpe, he was an inspiration for me. And I feel like that if more people know about him, he can be an inspiration not just to native kids, but to non-native kids as well. When you look at him, his physique compared to other athletes at the time, it's just outrageous. He looks like a modern day athlete. And the fact that he was over, able to overcome so much, the death of his twin brother, he went to boarding school, he walked all the way home. When he went to the Olympics, they stole his shoes, but still he overcame, he persevered. And I mean, I don't have the athletic prowess as Jim Thorpe, but all of us have it in us to be able to persevere and do better than people think that we can do. So I think Jim can give that for us. When I heard they were going to do a movie of Jim Thorpe, I was super excited. This is a movie I've wanted to see since I was a little kid. I think if natives, but non-natives also see this movie, he can be such an inspiration. I mean, this guy was representing us in the Olympics. He was the first president of the NFL. So I just hope that in some way that this honored Jim and the legacy that he's left.